Hey everyone, so as everyone, well, I guess not everyone knows, but I'm left-handed, and as a part of this uh, challenge for MakeupTalk.com, I'm going to be using my right hand to apply my makeup. So this is my left eye, obviously this is my left hand, and I'm going to be using my right hand to do all of my makeup application, so this could be very hilarious. Um, sorry about my voice and my allergy eyes, I woke up today with like, I don't know, it's like there's so much, I, I don't know what I'm allergic to, but whatever it is, it's out of control today, so I look like pretty much hell, for lack of better words, but, um, so this is going to make this challenge even more interesting, because not only do I look and feel like crap, but I'm going to be using the wrong hand to do my makeup. So, the palette that I'm going to be using is by Lorac, and I don't know the name of it, but it looks like that's the cover of it, and, um, here's the colors, and I'm going to be using the, um, black and the two grays. This is it's like this is a more of a bluish gray. I know it's hard to tell, but anyways, these are the colors I'm going to be working with and that's going to be my highlight color. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using Buxom's um gel liner, which you'll see in a minute. So, I'm going to go through this fast. This isn't meant to be a tutorial. This is just meant to be a fun thing to do. So, here I am grabbing my um highlighter pencil. Wow, this is awkward with my right hand. <laughs> this is hilarious. And trying to film this at the same time is like, I don't know. Okay, so here's my, here's my highlight. And I'm going to be using that like darker, kind of like grayish blue color. And tapping it, um, jeez this is crap, how do I do this? <laughs> tapping this on my lid. I don't know, I grew up kind of like ambidextrous, I guess you could say, so, I don't know, this isn't too hard, but it's definitely awkward. I'm using that lighter gray color, and I'm going to go on the inside of my, whoa, my eye. And switching to the fluffier MAC brush, taking more of that light color and blending it. Oh, this is going to be a smoky eye, by the way. <laughs> Forgot to mention that one. Taking a smaller brush, I am dipping it into the black color. And I'm going to go, like, along my lash line, and then... This is tough. Kind of creating this, like, outward V shape. Going upwards. A little bit in the crease. And taking that same fluff, fluffier brush <laughs> and blending that as well. All right. Typically, I use I do switch hands. Like I would normally be using my left hand to do this eye, but, but when I do my right eye, I use my right hand. So that's I guess why I'm showing you um, my left eye. Because I don't, you know, on my right hand, I actually use my right hand even though I am left-handed. Um, I'm going to take, you know what, I forgot to explain. I'm going to be taking another palette here to create um, a little bit more of a softer transition between the dark colors and the highlight. And I'm going to be using these two, I'm sorry, these, these two brown colors. The brown color towards the darkest part and the lighter color um, towards the inner corner of my eye. And I'm going to be using that same fluffier brush. Oops, I almost grabbed it with my left hand. You know, no. And I'm just like going above that um, darker color. And then same deal on the outer part. And then um, what I like to do is use an even more fluffy brush like this one. Oh, this is awkward. I'm blending that all in. God, I want to switch to my left hand so bad right now. It's like hard to stop myself. It's unbelievable. Dipping it in more of that light color again. And I 
Okay. Now it's time for the liner, so this should be very interesting. Um, <laughs> we're going to be using Buxom's Gel Liner and Leatherette, which is a black color. And it looks like this. And um, it's a very, 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 very creamy liner, so you don't need a lot. A little goes a very long way. And I'll show you the um, pencil I'll be using once I find it. It's this one right here. And it's like, it's an ultra professional brush. Um, it's the small eye shader brush, they call it. And I'm going to be using my right hand, dipping it into the gel liner product. Oh, wow, this is going to be hard. Um, yeek! <laughs> I don't even know how to do this. All right. This is, like, really professional-like, isn't it? All right, well, here we go. It looks like I need a little bit more product. Um, I'm just, like, gently pulling on the outer corner of my eyes. like I need a little bit more. It's hard to get like the pressure right when you've never um, done it. And here we're heading towards the inner part. That's the line that I've got so far, not too bad. Um, but what I'm gonna do, because I want this to be a smoky eye, I'm actually gonna just start drawing like a, um, drawing outwards on my eye with my right hand, um, and going up into this area with the gel product, and then going over it with that black shadow that you saw on the palette. So here I am dipping. I'm gonna be getting more of this, and literally, it doesn't have to, which it doesn't have to be exact, which is nice. Because I don't even think I could make it exact <laughs> with my right hand. Um, I'm just kind of like going into this, like following my lower lash line and like going up, kind of creating that cat eye effect and just making a very rough, kind of a line, a line like that. See, there's really not much precise precision to it. Didn't even get back, back into that black color. And, um,. And the dark gray, too. I'm using, like, the dark gray for this area. And more black. Now I'm switching to that fluffier pencil. And I'm going to continue to blend, blend, blend. Now I'm cleaning out any fallout. I don't know what that is right there, but I'm cleaning it up. So that's the basic um, shape that we've got right now. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and apply um, foundation and everything. And I'm not going to film that because it's really not that hard. I'm just going to be using um, concealer and then my regular foundation. And then we'll get back to this eye, because I do eyes first, and then foundation, and then I finish up the eyes last. So this eye, I'm not going to film because I do it with my right hand, so it's not a challenge. <laughs> so, um, because I switch hands. So, yeah, I'm not going to be filming this eye. So I'll be right back, and then um, I'll explain the bottom part of the eyes. So, one second. Hi, everyone. So I just applied my concealer and foundation. And I'm going to be working on the rest of my eyes now to complete this look. And I'm using my right hand to do my right eyebrow real quick. And this is with um, Max Beguile. It's a brow set. I usually don't take much time on my eyebrows just during the day. Just I don't know. Because I usually have a hat on. So I just don't really care. And now I'm using my right hand again to... Oh boy, this is awkward. Like, my left hand keeps wanting to like grab it and jump in. Okay. Eek. Wow, this is a train wreck. Oh 
Oh boy, this is hard. I'm just going to try to fill in that little blank space. And what I'm going to use for that is, um, this is Dior's uh, Universal Brow Pencil. And I'm using my right hand, and I'm literally, like, filling in this stupid blank space that I have. And this just recently happened. I don't know where or how I lost lashes in this area, but it just literally just happened. Who knows, maybe my cat got me in my sleep or something. <laughs> um, so here we go. Just kind of filled in that space a little bit with my right hand. And just touching up any areas that need a little extra help. Okay, now for the bottom part of my eyes. I'm going to be switching back to that pencil or um, brush that we used earlier, the small eye shader, and dipping it back into Buxom's Lash Liner in Leatherette. And I'm going to like kind of do my waterline as well as my um, bottom, this area right here. I call it no man's land. There's your waterline and then there's a, like your lash line right here, but I want it all filled in and any space in between. So here we go. Oh gosh, this is hard. Okay, now I'm kind of like doing the inner part. The next thing I'm going to do is, um, switch, eek, just dropped my pencil, switch to the darker gray color, <sighs> using that same brush, and, um, oh, this is tough, like, going over that same area and working it into the upper lash line as well. It's important, too, to kind of, like, and here I'm going to use a lighter gray color, like, tap off the excess because we've already got our foundation on and everything and you don't want to screw that up. Wow, and this is turning out a lot thicker than what I wanted. Um, thanks, thanks right hand for that. And now I'm, oh, switching over to, where is she at? This brush right here. It's like an even bigger version of that small shader brush. This is um, a, uh, it's a smudger shadow brush number 236. Dipping it into that black color. And, oops, <laughs> going on the outside of my eye. It wasn't, wow, this is a train wreck. It wasn't supposed to go out that far, but it did. What I'm going to do is use a little makeup remover wipe because I just got some fallout and I want to clean up that line that went up too far. And use my concealer brush to go over the war zone area <laughs> and kind of thin out that line. And, oh, what I'm doing is this on my hand. And switching back to this brush, we're going to try to clean this up even more. I like how I'm saying we, like I'm bringing you guys into this train wreck. And cleaning up that area. Okay, so um, one last time I'm going to be switching over back to this fluffier brush. and I should even use this one, I think. Whoop! <laughs> I just dropped it again. Um, okay. Nice, see? I almost just jabbed myself in the eye. That was cool. And we're just kind of going over that area. I guess what I'm trying to do here is avoid um, this harsh line that I created, which looks like it's just going to have to be there like that. But um, now for mascara. I got something in my eye. Okay, um, for mascara, eek, and I just noticed that, um, I still had some, like, dark brown fallout. <sighs> Clean that up.
can you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? <laughs> what a train wreck. Okay, so Maybelline's Black is Black. This is going to be the hardest part. It probably didn't help that I just drank a cup of coffee too, so I'm like, my hand's shaking. I think I should put a don't do this at home disclaimer. <laughs> don't do this at home. Please. Ugh. Wow, I just screwed that up 110%. Um. Whatever, that's the best it's gonna get. So there you have it, you guys. <laughs> That's my challenge. And here's my left eye. And here's my right eye.